What are you doing in this bookshop? I am dusting. It's not our job to advise the Almighty on the details of creation. Well, whose job is it? I mean, someone has to say, look, boss, this is a really terrible idea. Well, I suspect that would be considered inappropriate. What am I doing here? Yes. Well, what are you doing here? I don't know. That's why I ask. You're a funny-looking angel. Aren't I just? Are you a demon? Oh, she's good. The clarinet can make beautiful music. You are. The clarinet. It can make beautiful music. Wrong bench. You're on the Azerbaijani sect, Chief. Is over there. Oh, it would also be great to know where here is, and also who you are, and also who I am. And also why you're naked. Who told you I was naked? Tell me, what do you know? Okay. What do you know? Yeah. Something else I don't you should know. Okay, basic demon on earth stuff. Either call on the phone and talk or appear mysteriously. Don't do both. Why not? <laughs> Trust me. Righto. Was it always this easy? Easy. I keep planning complicated strategic strikes to spread misery and panic among the humans. And just as I'm about to put one into motion, they come up with something themselves which is so much worse than anything I could have thought of. Yeah, what was this easy? Whoa. This is, uh, this is amazing. <laughs> What's something terrible? I mean, it's doing like one thing here and another thing here, and they're both totally different things, but they're both so good. Please, tell me about this something terrible. What? I don't know. Uh, I just know that it's incredibly awful and that that's why I had to come here and give you the thing. Oh! What? <laughs> what? Now it's doing something down here. <laughs> oh, man, this is the best one yet. anything? Take a big cup, put six shots of espresso into it, nothing else. That sounds fun. Does it calm you down? Not really. Nina, what do you sell that calms people down? Eccles cakes. Some Eccles cakes, please. How's your naked man friend? He's not... He's not my... Well, he's certainly not naked anymore. You're a dark horse, Mr. Fell. I owe you thousands of pounds in rent. Those records would cost you eight pounds. Eight pounds and 75 pennies. Well, you can't just forgive me eight months' rent. Oh, I can. I'm very good at forgiveness. It's one of my favorite things. Now, you have paid your rent, I have my music, and I know exactly what I'll be doing for the next 21 minutes. These goats belong to Job, right? Yes, Job, who is, I might add, a particular favorite of God. So, shall I summarize? Satan and his diabolical ministers uh, may destroy everything Joe Bones, no questions asked, hugs and kisses God. No. Are we sure that Sidis wants to give birth four more times? Seven more times. But well, she's already got three children. So. Yeah, but those ones will be dead. Keep up. <laughs> We're not bringing the old ones back. Well, of course not. But we're giving them new ones. I think they quite like the old ones. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd make the books easier to find. So I thought if I put them in alphabetical order. Alphabetical by author? What's author? No, I was shelving the books uh, by the first letter of the first sentence. But no one would ever... Jolly good, good idea. Thank you, Jim. Carry on. 
And now I will make a noise when I move around. Right. Not that. Ah, Maggie. You know music. What can you tell me about a song that goes, every day it's a getting stronger. Um, love like that will surely come my way. <laughs> Oh, you're crying. I'm not. <laughs> Do you actually think you aren't? <sighs> you know, I think I'll just look at mine for a while. <laughs> As you please. Great. <laughs> I always say the best part of a cup of tea is looking at it. <laughs> Excuse me. What? I'm a bit busy. Yes, sir, I can see that. Um, but I just needed to ask you about your love life. Get out now. Tell me, Constable. Inspector. Oh, you know, you're, you are dressed as a constable. Inspector Constable. That's my name. <laughs> Well, what can I do for you? And uh, what would you like to drink? Oh, nothing for me. I'm just here to get the skinny lowdown on that mysterious song that played itself on your establishment's jukebox. That started last year. Give me the facts. Do you remember Dr. Dalrymple? The one who bought... Um... Weemorag's body. Uh, not a doctor, a mister. Yes, yeah, whatever happened to him? Well, he left Edinburgh in disgrace. And then he killed himself. Mm. And they named a pub after him. Humans, you can't let yourself get too attached. And to top it all off, tonight's magician has just been arrested as a deserter. I'm um, I, I wonder if I might be able to help you out on behalf of my uh, good friend here. I am no stranger to the art of crested digitation. <laughs> And the farthing has vanished. <laughs> mm. What you just did is remarkable. I don't have the foggiest notion how it's done. <laughs> but that's a trick for close quarters. Yeah? What you do tonight has to be bigger. I see. I see. Yeah, uh, you're right, of course. Two pound ten. And another £4.15 shillings for the rifle. But you'd need a firearms license. Oh, I have one of those already. You what? Oh, yes, I keep a Derringer in the bookshop inside a hollowed-out book, in case I get into a scrape. You read too many books. There was a miracle blocker in the room. I saw you put it back in the envelope. Who needs a miracle when you've had private lessons from the great Prof Hoffman himself? I simply say the magic words. Banana fish gorilla shoelace with a dash of nutmeg and. Well, I got it right the time that mattered. You really are terrible at magic. Mm -hmm.